William Gordon Welchman, the 15th of June 1906 to the 8th of October 1985, was an English mathematician, university professor, Second World War codebreaker at Bletchley Park and author. After the war he moved to the U.S. and later took American citizenship. Early life, education and career. Gordon Welchman was born, the youngest of three children, at Fish Ponds in Bristol, to William Welchman, 1866-1954, and Elizabeth Marshall Griffith. William was a Church of England priest who had been a missionary overseas before returning to England as a country vicar, eventually becoming Archdeacon of Bristol. Elizabeth was the daughter of another priest. The R.E.V.D. Edward Mool Griffith. Welchman was educated at Marlborough College and then studied mathematics as a scholar at Trinity College, Cambridge, from 1925 to 1928. In 1929, he became a research fellow in mathematics at Sydney Sussex College, Cambridge, a fellow in 1932 and later dean of the college, Bletchley Park just before the Second World War. Welchman was invited by Commander Alistair Denniston to join the Government Code and Cipher School at Bletchley Park. In the event of war, he was one of four early recruits, the others being Alan Turing, Hugh Alexander and Stuart Milner Barry, who all made significant contributions at Bletchley and who became known as the Wicked Uncles. They were also the four signatories to an influential letter delivered to Winston Churchill in October 1941, asking for more resources for the code-breaking work at Bletchley Park. Churchill responded with one of his Action This Day written comments. As stated in his book, most of his work at Bletchley was centered on what was known as traffic analysis of encrypted German communications. This is roughly described as the practice of examining parts of messages that are standardized. Descriptors are headers, such as message origination, message destination, time, date information, and so on. Especially as messages always require such information. Most cryptographers agree this is markedly easier than attacking cryptographic ciphers directly although still very complicated and mathematically intensive processing is needed to make initial discoveries, and Welchman is credited with innovating the approach. This led to data analysis techniques that today we describe as metadata analysis. Welchman envisaged an enhancement to Alan Turing's improved design of the Polish electromechanical Enigma cipher-breaking machine, the bomb. Welchman's enhancement, the diagonal board, which exploited the self-reciprocity of the Enigma machine, made the device substantially more efficient. This was an implementation of the simple fact that if B is stackered, plugged, to G then G is also stackered to B. If 26 rows of 26-way connectors are stacked up, then any connection point can be referenced by its row letter and column letter. A physical piece of wire can now connect row B element G to row G element B. The device was called the diagonal board because such a piece of wire is diagonally across the matrix of connections. The diagonal board cut decipher times down from days to mere hours when attacking ciphers generated by the German Enigma machine. Bombs became the primary mechanical aid in breaking Enigma ciphers during the war. By speeding up the search for current wheel order settings being used with the Enigma machines, wheel order settings were changed often, initially at least once per day. Welchman was head of Hut 6, the section at Bletchley Park responsible for breaking German Army and Air Force Enigma ciphers. During his time at Bletchley, Welchman opposed engineer Tommy Flowers' efforts on the Colossus computer, the world's first programmable electronic computer, because Colossus used vacuum tubes. In 1943, 
He became assistant director in charge of mechanization and also had responsibility for cryptographic liaison with the U.S. post-war. Soon after the end of the war Welchman took up Hugh Alexander's old post as director of research for the John Lewis Partnership before then moving to the United States in 1948 where he taught the first computer course at MIT in the United States. He followed this by employment with Remington Rand and Ferranti. Welchman became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 1962. In that year, he joined the MITRE Corporation, working on secure communication systems for the U.S. military. He retired in 1971, but was retained as a consultant. In 1982 his book The Hut Six Story was published, initially by McGraw-Hill in the U.S. and by Allen Lane in Britain. The National Security Agency disapproved. The book was not banned but Welchman lost his security clearance, and therefore his consultancy with MITRE, and was forbidden to discuss either the book or his wartime work. Welchman died in 1985. His final conclusions and corrections to the story of wartime code-breaking were published posthumously in 1986 in the paper From Polish Bomb to British Bomb. The Birth of Ultra, in Intelligence and National Security, Volume 1, Noel. The paper was included in the revised edition of the Hut Six Story published in 1997 by M&M. &M. Baldwin, Personal Life. In 1937 Welchman married Catherine Hodgson, a professional musician, the daughter of Francis Faith Hodgson, who was a captain in the Indian Army. The couple had a son and two daughters. In 1959 Welchman divorced Catherine and married the American Cubist painter Fanny Hill Smith. The marriage lasted until 1970. Fanny was the daughter of Clarence Hill Smith, a consulting engineer from New Hampshire. In 1972 he married Elizabeth Huber, daughter of Anton Wilhelm Huber a sawmill owner and carpentry contractor from Bavaria and his wife, Myrtle Octavia Hussey, who was Welchman's second cousin. Legacy Gordon Welchman was the subject of a BBC documentary broadcast on BBC Two on 7 September 2015. The programme was entitled Bletchley Park. Code Breaking's Forgotten Genius and as the code breaker who hacked Hitler when broadcast on the Smithsonian Channel, the withdrawal of his security clearance in 1982, by the NSA, after the publishing of his Hut Six book, was described as devastating. On 26 September 2016, a blue plaque was unveiled by his daughter, Susanna Griffiths, at St. Mary's Church, Fish Ponds, in Bristol, speaking at the event. The director of GCHQ Robert Hannigan acknowledged the harsh treatment of Welchman and paid tribute to his immense contribution as a giant of his era. See also History of Cryptography Peter Calvo Cressy Traffic Analysis Bibliography Russell Jones Mayor, 2014 My Secret Life in Hut 6 one Woman's Experiences at Bletchley Park. Lion Hudson. ISBN 9780-745-95664-0. Welchman. Gordon. The Hut Six Story. Breaking the Enigma Codes. Second Revised Edition. December 1997. M. and M. Baldwin. ISBN 9780947712341. West. Nigel. 1986. The Sige and Secrets. The Signals Intelligence War. 1900 to today, including the persecution of Gordon Welchman. New York. William Morrow and Company. ISBN 0 688 one LCCN 884315